أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد أرسلنا رسلنا بالبينات وأنزلنا معهم الكتاب والميزان ليقوم الناس بالقسط صدق الله العظيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم تر إلى ربك كيف مد الظل ولو شاء لجعله ساكنا ثم جعلنا الشمس عليه دليلا ثم قبضناه إلينا قبضا يسيرا صدق الله العظيم Don't you see how your Lord prolongs the shadows In the morning you know when the sun is just risen The shadows are very long, very long. But then as the sun keeps up rising higher and higher, now the shadow is becoming smaller and smaller. This phenomenon is referred here. Alam tara ila rabbi ka kaif hamad nazil? How he prolongs the shadow? Walau jaala, walau shaala jaala hu saakina. Had he will so, he would have made it stationary. ثم جعلنا الشمس عليه دليلا but then it becomes according to the sun it moves according to the sun the sun rises higher and higher and this becoming smaller and smaller ثم قبضناه إلينا قبضا يسيرا then we draw it towards ourselves very easily when you know sun is on the top now there is no shadow nearly no shadow Then again when the sun is now going down, there is a shadow. And as it is going down and down, the shadow will again be prolonged. وَهُوَ الَّذِي جَعَلَ لَكُمُ اللَّيْلَ لِبَاسَ And it is he who has made the night for you a cover or garment. وَنَّوْمَ سُبَاتَ And he has made this sleeping for you a repose. وَجَعَلَ النَّهَرَ نُشُورَ And he has made the day for you. So that you should get up and go this side or that side. Wahu Allah di asal riyaha pushram mera yada rahmat hai. And it is He who sends winds as bearers of the great of the glad news before His mercy. His mercy is coming. Rain is going to come. But before the rain comes, the cool breeze comes to give you a good news that the mercy of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Is near to descend. One the name is Samay Ban Tahura, and then we send down pure water from the heaven. The Nohiya Bhi Bandatam Maita, so that we may give life by this water to the dead land. But Nusbiyahu, and then we make people drink it. Nimba Khalakna An Aman Wa Nasiya Kasira. It is given to drinking. For those who have we have created many cattle and many human beings. Well, the sum of now by now only is the crew, and we certainly have explained our things in many styles, many ways. Let us the crew, so that they get the admonition. For Abbas and Nasir lack of fura, but most of the mankind refuse. But disbelief and ingratitude. وَلَوْ شَئْنَا لَبَعَثْتَ فِي كُلِّ قَرْيَةٍ نَزِيرًا and had we willed we could have sent to every city every town a warmer فَلَا تُطْعِي الْكَافِرِينَ وَجَاهِدْهُمْ بِهِ جِهَادًا كَبِيرًا this is very important so you O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم don't obey the disbelievers but strive against them in the strongest way with this Quran This is Makki Surah. The word jihad has come over here. So jihad was going on in the Makki days also, but this was not the jihad with the sword, which became there in the Madani period. Jihad with sword, that is qital, going to 
war. But at Makkah, the jihad was being made with Quran. Jahid hum bihi jihadan kabira. Now this is the sword. With that sword made of iron, you kill a person. But with this sword of Quran, you kill the wrong ideas, the wrong beliefs. These things, you know, they are killed by the sword of Quran. So, falatu ta'il kafirin. So, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, don't obey these disbelievers. And wajahidhum, continue striving against them. Bihi, with this Quran. Jihadan kabira. Is striving very great and very hard. وَهُوَ الَّذِي مَرَجَ الْبَحْرَيْنِ And he is who, who has made two currents to flow side by side. هَذَا عَزْبٌ فُرَاتٌ وَهَذَا مِلْهُنْ اُجَاجٌ This one is sweet and palatable water. And part of the other current is saltish and bitter. وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَهُمَا بَرْزَقًا وَحِجْرًا مَحْجُورًا and he has set a barrier and a formidable partition, forbidding partition between them. The waters cannot intermingle. A current of water is flowing, and side by side the other is flowing. In one it is sweet water, in the other it is bitter water, but they don't intermingle with each other, as if there is some curtain in between which cannot be seen, invisible current. And he is who? Created man from water. I've explained it many times that the life is from water. Our bodies have come up from the clay, the mud, salsali min hamay masnoon, min teen, min turab, and so on and so forth. But the life, source of life is water. Fajalahu nasman was sehra, and then we have made for him relations by blood and by marriage. Wakan rabbuka qadira. And definitely your Lord has been all-powerful. And they are worshipping besides Allah, those who cannot give them any benefits or profits, nor they can harm them. But the disbeliever, he has become a party against the Lord. He is helping and supporting the enemies of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Babar salna ka illa mubashiram wa nazira. This thing has come many a time. So we have not sent you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, except as a bearer of glad tidings and as a warner. Qul maa salakum alayhi min ajri illa maa shaa an yattakhida ila rabbihi sabila. Illa man shaa an yattakhida ila rabbihi sabila. Say, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I don't ask you for any reward or wage. My only intention is that whosoever amongst you wants to take the straight path to his Lord, he should be able to take it. I'm only explaining the right path to you so that it is possible for whomsoever wants and decides to take that right path to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he may be able to do it. وَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى الْحَيِّ الَّذِي لَا يَمُوتُ And O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, put all your trust in him who is the living, ever living, that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لَا يَمُوتُ Who will never die. وَسَبْرِ بِحَمْدِهِ And glorify him with his praise. وَكَفَى بِذُنُوبِ عِبَادِهِ خَبِيرًا And he is sufficient to know the sins of his bondsmen and his servants. الَّذِي خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا The one who has created the heavens and the earth and whatever is in between them, فِي سِتَّةِ اَيَّامٍ In six days, six cycles of time, we can't know what was the duration of one day. But somehow the six number must be there. A time will come when science will reveal this. The six periods of time were taken in the creation of this universe. سُمَّ اسْتَوَى عَلَى الْعَرْشِ then he mounted the throne. Ar-Rahman, he is Rahman, he is the compassionate. Fas'al bihi khabira. So you can ask about him those people who have some knowledge. I told you that this name of Allah, Rahman, it was not known by the Arabs, the Mushrikeen, the Ummiyeen, the Bani Ismail. They 
only knew one word, Allah. Allah was an ancient name. But Quran introduced another names, other names, so many names. Lahul Asma'ul Husna, all the good names are for, are for him. But among the other names, Ar-Rahman has been emphasized the most in Quran. Now these mushrikeen used to say, who is this Rahman? We don't know him. So it is being said here, if you don't know, you ask those who have the knowledge. وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ مُسْتُدُونِ الرَّحْمَانِ قَالُوا أَبَا الرَّحْمَانِ And when it is said to them, you should prostrate before Rahman, they say, who is this Rahman? أَنَسْجُدُ لِمَا تَعْمُرُنَا Should we prostrate before him whom you are asking us to prostrate? وَزَادَهُمْ نَفُورًا And then there is increase in their aversion. They go away. This is the ayah of Sajda. So please make this Sajda. تبارك الذي جعل في السماء بروجا. Blessed is he who has set in the heaven constellations. وجعل فيها سراجا. And placed in them a lamp that is the sun. وقمر منيرا. And a shining moon. وهو الذي جعل الليل والنهار خلفة. And it is he who has made the night and day. Coming after each other. لِمَنْ أَرَادَ أَنْ يَزَّكَّرَ أَوْ أَرَادَ شُكُورَ For those who desire to be admonished and those who desire to be grateful. By looking these things, the phenomena of the nature, there should be two results. Number one, you should know Allah, how powerful He is, what a creator He is, what He has created. So this is admonition, tazakkur, that you have the idea of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your hearts and minds. And second is shukr. You must be grateful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has set this alternation of night and day. And with this, you know, all vegetation, all plant kingdom is tied to this process. Their respiration cycle is reversed. During the day it is something else, during the night it is something else. And all this system, you know, it is attached to this alternation of night and day. And then we take rest during the night so that we are rejuvenated, revitalated, and then we can work the other day with zeal. So, shukr and zikr. Those who want to be admonished and those who want to be grateful. وَعِبَادُ الرَّحْمَانِ الَّذِينَ يَمْشُونَ عَلَى الْبِحَوْنَا Now this section of this surah, last section, it is very important, it's also one lesson of the selected course of study of Quran that I mentioned before also. We have read in the beginning of Surah Al-Mu'minun, the foundations on which the character of a mu'min can be built. Now here we are finding some glimpses of the character of a mu'min, mature character, who is fully mature. Now what are his properties and what are his signs? What is his attitude? What is his feeling? So this thing actually, a fully mature and developed human, a Mormon personality. And Allah calls them Ibadur Rahman, the bondsman of Rahman. The dear bondsman of Rahman, Ibadur Rahman al lazina yamshun and al hawna. They are those who walk on the earth with humility, not with arrogance. They always think that we are bondsmen, we are servants, we are created by Allah. So, this haughtiness, it doesn't touch them. And when the ignorant people try to engage them in dialogue or, or argument, they say, no, salam. We don't want to engage into any argument with you, because you are not ready to understand. It's only it's argument for the sake of argument. It's no use. When Nazina Yabituna Lira Bihim Sajadam Vakayama and those who pass their nights standing and prostrating for their lords. Now there in Suratul Mu'minin, Mu'minun we found the five obligatory prayers. Kadaflahal Mu'minun al Lazina Hum fi Salatihim Khashiun. 
and in the end were lazina whom Allah salawat him you half zoon. These are the obligatory, obligatory prayers. But here it is the night prayer, which is not obligatory. Tahajjud, which is additional. Although for Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it was fard, it was obligatory. But for none else it is obligatory. But person who has reached nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spiritually, he prays during the night. Sometimes he is standing and, and reciting Quran before his Lord. Or sometimes he is prostrating. وَالَّذِينَ يَبِيتُونَ لِرَبِّهِمْ سُجَدًا وَقِيَامًا وَالَّذِينَ يَقُولُونَ رَبَّ نَصْرِفْ عَنَّا عَذَابَ جَهَنَّمْ And those who say, O oh, our Lord, avert from us the chastisement of the hell. إِنَّا عَذَابَهَا كَانَ غَرَامًا Surely, its chastisement is an everlasting affliction. إِنَّهَا سَاتْ مُسْتَقَرُّ وَمُقَامًا And hell is definitely very evil place. For permanent, as a permanent abode, as well as a temporary halt. We have in this world, you know, the worst place, but if you have to go and just visit, you will have a recreation. You have seen these things. But if you have to live there, then it is, you know, awful. And the best places in this world, where you go as a visitor, you find very fine. But ask the people who are living over there. Ask the people of Switzerland or Kashmir, do they see any beauty in the land? No. So, this Jahannam is very bad, very bad, very bad, not only as a permanent abode, but also as a temporary, for a temporary stay and halt. And we shall find the reverse about paradise, about Jannah, in the end of this section. And those who, when they spent, they are neither extravagant nor niggardly. But they take a way which is in between. وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَدْعُونَ مَعَ اللَّهِ أَحْنْ آخَرَ And those who don't call upon, besides Allah, any other God. وَلَا يَقْتُلُونَ النَّفْسَ الَّتِي حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ إِلَّا بِالْحَقِّ And they don't slay the soul, the human life, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forbidden, except by the legal right. If somebody has killed somebody, well, then he can be killed as a punishment, and so on and so forth. But without any guilt, without any, you know, legal right, they don't kill. Well, I as noon, and then they don't commit adultery. These are the three biggest sins. The biggest sins, sins three. Number one, to call upon any other God except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number one. And that is the worst. We have read in Surah Al-Nisa, twice the ayah. إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَغْفِرُ وَيُشْرَكَ بِهِ وَيَغْفِرُ مَا دُونَ ذَلِكَ لِمَنْ يَشَاءَ This shirk is such a great sin that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never forgive it. But He can, He may, if He likes, He can forgive the smaller sins. But not shirk. So number one is shirk. Number two, to kill a person, human being, without any reason without any legal right. And number three, adultery. وَمَنْ يَفْعَلْ ذَلِكَ يَلْقَى سَامَا Whosoever indulges in these things, he will have the punishment. يُضَعَفْ لَهُ الْعَذَابُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ On the day of judgment, their chastisement will be doubled. This ayah is very important in the Qur'an because through this ayah we understand that before the day of judgment also some azab is to come to the disbelievers. This azab al qabr Some people say, you know, especially those who don't give any importance to the ahadith of the Prophet ﷺ, so there, there's no mention of azab al qabr All these ahadith, you know, they are baseless. No, it is here. Yudhaaf lahu azab yawm al qiyamah their punishment, their chastisement would be doubled on the Day of Judgment. It means they had been having some chastisement before also. mohana, And then he will live, stay there, humiliated forever. Illa mantaba. But there is an escape. Except those who repent, number one, wa'amana. And then they have the faith, the real belief, 
They renew their faith, renew their conviction. صالحاً, and then they go do good deeds. So three steps. Repentance, why I have done this? I should not have done this. Oh my Lord, I am ashamed. I, I should not have done this, number one. Then because, you know, a sin denotes that your belief in Allah was weak when you committed this sin. If the belief was there strong, you could not do any wrong thing. Because that belief, that iman, that faith had decreased in intensity, only then you could commit a sin. So now you have to renew your iman, renew your faith. And what is the proof that the faith has been renewed? Amal salih. Now your deeds should be good. Illa man taba wa amana wa amila amalan salihan fa ulaika yubaddilu Allahu sayyi'atihim hasanat. So such are the people whose vices Allah will turn into virtues. Wa kana Allahu ghafurur rahima. And verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ever been forgiving and merciful. Wa man taba wa amila salihan. And again, you know, emphasizing. Instead of three things, two things. First and the last. Whosoever repents and then does good deeds. Now you are repenting and repenting and repenting, you know. And you are repeating, Astaghfirullah Rabbim in kulli zambin wa atubu ilayhi one thousand times. I have done ten tasbih of istighfar. To what use? If your actions are the same. You are indulging in the same sins. You are indulging in riba as you were indulging before. You are indulging now even. So what's the use of these? You know, ten tasbihat of istighfar, useless. وَمَنْ تَعْبَ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا Whosoever repents, and then he rectifies his deeds. فَإِنَّهُ يَتُوبُ إِلَى اللَّهِ مَتَعْبَ So he is the one who actually turns to Allah as he should turn. وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَشْهَدُنَ الزُّورِ And those who don't bear false witness. وَإِذَا مَرُّوا بِاللَّغْوِ مَرُّوا كِرَامًا and when they, per chance, they pass by foolish indulgences or vain talking, then they pass from there in a very, with dignity. They don't get involved in that. You are going and you say, you know, something is happening over there. Useless thing. Don't stand and watch it. No, leave it. If it has no benefit for your world, I told you, that every second of human life is precious. Either it should be used so as some need of this world is fulfilled. Need, real need. Or it should be used to get the reward in the hereafter. Not to use it for vain things, waste it. وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا ذُكِّرُوا بِآيَاتِ رَبِّهِمْ لَمْ يَخِرُّوا عَلَيْهَا سُمَّا وَعُدِيَانَا And those who are admonished, when they are admonished, by the revelations of their Lord, they don't fall on it, deaf and dumb, deaf and blind. And this is a taunt, actually, on the kuffar, on the disbelievers. When the revelation was recited unto them, they would never think upon it, nor ponder over it. But they will start, you know, differing and criticizing and mocking and laughing, so as if they are deaf and blind. وَالَّذِينَ يَقُولُونَ رَبَّنَا حَبْلَنَا مِنَ اَزْوَاجِنَا وَزُرِّيَّاتِنَا قُرَّةَ عَيُنِينَ And those who keep on praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, O our Lord, give us, grant us from our wives and children the coolness of our eyes and make us the leaders of the God-fearing. It doesn't mean that you should aspire for leadership. What it means is that you are the natural leader of your family. Your wife, your children, your sons and daughters. When on the day of judgment you are resurrected, behind you will be coming your sons and daughters. So they should be muttaki people. They should be God-fearing. So then you will you be very happy. Otherwise, if behind you are coming different type of people, you know, your son, but he was a disbeliever. He was, you know, not a good a man of good character. So here it is the dua is that you make us lead the God-fearing people, people who are behind us, they should be God-fearing. These are the people who will be rewarded with the highest places in the paradise 
for they endured patiently and persevered in the way of Allah. وَيُلَقَّوْنَ فِيهَا تَحِيَّةً وَسَلَامًا And they will be welcomed there with, they will be received there with greetings and salutations. خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا And then they will abide in it forever. حَسَنَتْ مُسْتَقَرَّمَ مُقَامًا Now this is the reverse of سَعَتْ مُسْتَقَرَّمَ مُقَامًا Hell is سَعَتْ مُسْتَقَرَّمَ مُقَامًا A very bad place for permanent stay as well as for a temporary halt. But Jannah, paradise is a very good place for the permanent residence also and for a small visit also. So you have, you may be, you might have the best place, but if you have to stay over there or permanently, then it will lose all charm. Now you will find, you know, these are the faults here, they are, these things are difficult here. But you know, if you visit, you find a very fine Kashmir, Switzerland. But ask the people who live there, is there any beauty for them in these things? The hardships, they will be complaining. There's winter, there's this thing, there's that difficulty for us. So these things, but Jannah is something which is good for permanent abode as well as a temporary stay. And the hell is very bad, very bad. Even if you, you are thrown in it for a second, it will show you all, all its, you know, evil and wickedness. خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا حَسُنَتْ مُسْتَقَرَّمَ مَقَامًا قُلْ مَا يَعْبَوْ بِكُمْ رَبِّي لَوْ لَا دُعَاوْكُمْ Say to them, My Lord doesn't care for you. Don't think that because I am, you know, pursuing you, I am coming to you to convey the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that Allah cares for you. Allah needs you. Ma'az Allah, no. قُلْ مَا يَعْبَوْ بِكُمْ رَبِّي لَوْ لَا دُعَاوْكُمْ but only the rule of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the sunnah, the law is that before punishing, he has taken upon himself to warn and to call them to the right path. That is why I am fulfilling that condition and that's all. Don't think that Allah cares for you. فَقَدْ كَزَّبْتُمْ Now you have denied. So, first of all, يَكُونُ الْإِزَامَ Now soon it will become inevitable punishment. Now we come to Surah Kushwara. This Surah is the largest Makki Surah regarding the number of Ayat, 227. But it has only 11 sections. Actually one thing if you keep in mind, that the Makki Surahs, we can divide them into three periods. Twelve years of stay at Mecca after the beginning of Wahi and before the Hijrah. And we can divide them in equal three parts. First four years, middle four years, last four years. In the first four years, the surahs which were revealed, they have very small ayat. There is a music, divine music. There is a fast flow. Ayat are small. These are the three qualities of the ayat of the surahs which were revealed in the first four years. Then in the middle four years, now ayat are becoming larger and larger. Now that melody is not so apparent, that music is not so apparent. It is there, but not so apparent. And then in the final four, four years, they are mostly like the Madani surahs. Ayat are very large and, you know, there is a flow. But that flow is like the flow of a river, not, you know, the, the ocean, you know. So these are the qualities. Then the surahs which were revealed in the first four years, they are included in the last two groups of Makki Madani surahs, mostly. And the surahs which were revealed in the middle four years, they are included in the middle so two groups of the surahs, Makki or Madani surahs groups. And the surahs which were revealed in the last four years, they were the those surahs which were included in the first two groups, An'am, Araf, two, and then from Yunus, Hud, etc., etc., to Surah al -Mu'minun. But there are certain, you know, exceptions to these rules. 
Surat ul Hijr in the second group. That belongs to, as regards revelation, to the first four, four year period. In the same way, this Surat ul Shura, although it is included in the middle two groups, but it belongs to the period, as regards revelation, to the period of first four years. It has all the qualities, small ayat, rhythm, flow, and a music, divine music we should say. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Qasim Meem. Tilka ayat al-Kitab al-Mubeen. These are the ayat of the clear book, manifest book. لَعَلَّكَ بَاقِرُ النَّسَّكَ أَلَّا يَكُونُ مُؤْمِنِينَ Maybe, O Muhammad, you are going to kill yourself, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, due to grief that they are not believing. Such was the grief of the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that they are not listening to me even. What to speak of accepting my da'wah. In نَشَانُ نَزِرْ عَلَيْهِ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ If we wish, we can send down on them a sign from the heaven. فَزَلَّتْ عَنَاقُهُمْ لَهَا قَادِعِينَ So then, their necks would remain bored in humility. Because they used to say, show us a miracle. If you claim that you are a messenger just as Jesus and Moses, you have to show us the miracles. Because you yourself say that such and such and such and such miracles were given to Hazrat Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. And even greater miracles were given to Hazrat Isa alayhi salatu wasalam. So show us the miracle. We have, you know, discussed this subject in Surah Al-Anam. Allah had decided we are not going to show them any such <coughs> evident and visible miracle. The real miracle of Muhammad is this Quran. Nobody in the past also believed because of miracles. The Jews never accepted Hazrat Isa as a messenger, seeing all the biggest possible, biggest possible miracles was given to Hazrat Isa a.s. The nine miracles were given to Hazrat Musa, but Pharaoh didn't come to believe. So there's no use. But if we show such a miracle, then their term will come to an end. And then, you know, the punishment will start. So Allah is kind to them. He wants to extend their term. Maybe if he, they have not understood now, maybe they understand tomorrow. So it is the kindness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He is not showing such a visible and evident miracle. But if you like, we can send any miracle, any sign at any time. وَمَا يَعْتِهِمْ مِنْ ذِكْرِ مِنَ الرَّحْمَانِ مُحْدَسِمْ إِلَّا كَانُوا أَنْهُمْ مُرَدِينَ And there doesn't come to them a new admonition, but they turn away. They don't listen to it. فَقَدْ كَزَّبُوا So they have now belied. فَسَيَعْتِهِمْ أَنْبَاوْ مَا كَانُوا بِهِ يَسْتَعْزِيُونَ And soon now, they will have the tidings of what they used to mock at. Oh, Azab will come. Oh, Muhammad, why don't you bring it? Bring it soon. But then the time will come. They will see their chastisement with their eyes. أَوَلَمْ يَرَوْا إِلَى الْأَرْضِ كَمْ أَمْبَتْنَا فِيَا مِنْ كُلِّ زَوْجٍ كَرِيمٍ Have not they seen to the earth how much we have caused to grow the noble kinds of things in it? In the فِيزَالِكَ الْآيَةِ in that is the sign. This nature is full of signs. This phenomena of the nature, each one of them is a big sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Shaykh Sadi says, Barge darakhtane sabz, dar nadar e hoshiyar, har varak e daftar as taz marifat e kirdegar. The leaves of the grain, the trees, the green leaves of the trees, each one of these leaves is a big sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But for those who ponder over this, إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ الْآيَةَ وَمَا كَانَ أَكْسَرُهُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ But most of them are not going to believe. وَإِنَّ رَبَّكَ لَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الرَّحِيمُ And definitely your Lord is all-powerful, but He is also merciful. This is the place where with Al-Aziz, Al-Rahim is being repeated. Mostly with Al-Aziz, Al-Hakim is repeated in Quran. This, this pair of two names, Al-Aziz, Al-Hakim. But here, Al-Aziz, Al-Rahim. Because it is the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He is not sending down any visible miracle. Because if He does so, their term will come to an end. And then, you know, the matter will be decided for them. وَإِذْ نَادَى رَبُّكَ مُوسَىٰ 
And remember, when your Lord called upon Musa alayhi salam, that go to the evil doing people, قوم of Fir'aun, that is me, I mean the people of Fir'aun, ala yattaqoon, do they not fear? قَالَ رَبِّي إِنِّي أَخَافَ يُكَسْدِبُونَ Musa said, O my Lord, I fear that they will belie me. وَيَذِيقُ صَدْرِي And my chest shrinks. Why? وَلَا يَنْتَلِقُ لِسَانِي And my tongue is also not fluent. So I fear. And due to fear, my chest shrinks. فَأَرْسِلْ إِلَىٰ هَارُونَ So send for Harun. You should assign this mission to Harun. وَلَهُمْ عَلَيَّ زَمْبُرْ And they have a crime against me. I had killed one of them. And so, فَأَخَافُ وَنْ يَقْتُلُونَ I fear that when I go, return to them, they will kill me because I had killed a person. That we can find in the next surah, surah Suratul Qasas, the whole story of how an Egyptian was killed by Hazrat Musa alayhi salatu was salam. Qalak Allah. The reply from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala came, no. Fazhaba, now go both of you. Granted that Harun will accompany you. فَسَبَا فَبِعَيَاتِنَا إِنَّا مَعَكُمْ مُسْتَمِعُونَ Now go with our signs and we shall be with you listening. فَاتِيَا فِرْعَوْنَ Now go to Fir'aun. فَقُولَا And say, both of you, إِنَّا رَسُولُ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ We are the messenger of the Lord of the worlds. أَنْ أَرْسِلْ مَعَنَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ The demand is, now let Bani Israel go with us. قَالَ أَلَمْ نُرَبِّكَ فِينَا وَلِيدًا Now, Fir'aun says, Didn't we raise you up and we brought you up in our household when you were an infant? You came to our palace as an infant, as a child. We brought you up. So this is the reward that you are giving us. أَلَمْ نُرَبِّكَ فِينَا وَلِيدًا وَلَوِسْتَفِينَا مِنْ عُمُرِكَ بِسْنِينَ And you lived with us several years of your life. فَفَعَلْتَ فَعَلَ وَكَ الَّتِي فَعَلْتَ And then you did that crime which you committed. وَأَنْتَ مِنَ الْكَافِرِينَ And you were from among the very ungrateful people. فَعَلَ فَعَلْتُ هَائِذًا وَعَنَا مِنَ الْضَوَالِينَ Musa said, yes, I committed that mistake. But at that time, I was myself ignorant one. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had not at that time, till that time, given me this position of prophethood and messengerhood. So, that mistake was committed by me. So, I ran away from them, from you, to save my life, because at that time I was fearing you. Now, my Lord has given me a command. And he has made me one of the messengers. Vatilka Nematu now is coming the reply. When Firon had said, We brought you up in our house when you were only a child. Now the reply is coming, Vatilka Nematu Tamunnuha Adaya. You are mentioning your favor to me that you brought me up in your palace. An Abbatta Bani Israel. And you just forget that you have made whole of my nation Bani Israel slave. You made all the money slaves slave. But if you could, you know, bring up one child from among the money Israel, you are mentioning it as a very big favor done to me. Qala Fir'aunu, Gama Rabbul Alameen. Fir'aun said, and who is this Rabbul Alameen? The Lord of the, all the worlds. Qala Rabbul Samawati wa Lakhdi wa Ma'abayna huma. Musa replied, the Lord of the heavens and the earth, and whatever is in between them, in Kuntum Mokhareen, if you are to be convinced, قَالَ لِمَنْ حَوْلَهُ وَلَا تَسْتَمِعُونَ Now he said to the chieftains and the courtiers which, who were around him, addressing them, لِمَنْ حَوْلَهُ وَلَا تَسْتَمِعُونَ Are you listening to what this man is saying? Are you listening? There is very, you know, baseless thing that he is saying. قَالَ رَبُّكُمْ وَرَبُّ عَبَائِكُمُ الْأَوَّلِينَ 
But Musa continues, he is your Lord and also the Lord of your forefathers of the ancient times. Again he is addressing his courtiers, his chieftains. Verily this messenger which has been sent to do seems to be mad. He has gone crazy. His mental balance is not correct. But Hazrat Musa is continuing. He is the Lord of the East and the Lord of the West and the Lord of everything which is in between the East and West. In Kuntum Taqilun, only if you can understand. Now he says, you know, as a king, if you take anybody, anyone else as God, except me, I will throw you in the prison. I will imprison you. I have told you he was like a younger brother to Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. The father had, you know, given up the throne because of old age. But now he was the pharaoh. Although the senior Pharaoh was also alive, he had not died. But now the ruler was this junior Pharaoh. And he did respect and love Hazrat Musa alayhi Because they were brought up together in the palace. But now, regarding, you know, the empire and, you know, their system, they have to defend them. They want status quo, no change. And you know, they people said that we are the Lord. All this country, Egypt, is in my hands. The government of Egypt is in my hand. And all the irrigation system is under my control. So I am the Lord. I don't know any other Lord for you except me. Now Musa said, although I might bring to you a very clear sign, Pharaoh said, okay, look, bring forth. If you are truthful, bring forth the sign that you have. Now he put down his staff and it became a serpent, clearly visible serpent. And then he took out his hand from his bosom and for the for those who were seeing it became white, shining. Now Firon said to the chieftains, chiefs and the courtiers around him, In Nahaza Lasaidun Ali. Indeed, he is a big sorcerer, big magician. He is showing these things, you know, due to his magic and sorcery. Now he wants to drive you out of your land due to, on the basis of his magic. So now what do you say? What do you recommend? What's your opinion? What we should do? But keep one thing in mind. These people the Egyptians, they, are, they were fearing that these Bani Israel are multiplying in number, like anything. As you find the fear today in the West, that our growth, population growth is very slow. And the population growth of the third world is very high. So what will happen? In England, the Englishmen think that these immigrants who have come over here, the Indians and West Indies, etc., etc., they will become more in number in some time and we shall be overpowered by them. In this same way they were thinking that these Bani Israel can be a challenge and threat for us. So he said now in addition to the great numbers that they are in, now he has this magic also. So with this magic and their number, maybe they can drive us out from our land. So what is your opinion? They said, put him off for a while and then send callers to all the cities of the state. 
Jatu ka bi kulli sahharin alim. That they should bring to you every skillful sorcerer and magician. Fajumira sahrat oli bi kati yomi malum. So the sorcerers or the magicians were assembled for the appointed time of a day which was already declared. That day, at that time, people should come and then you know, Moses, Musa alayhi salatu wa salam will be confronted with the magicians of Egypt. وَقِيلَ لِلنَّاسِ أَلَنْتُمْ مُجْتَمِعُونَ And it was also called to the people, are you going to gather? That is, you should gather also over there. لَأَلَّنَا نَتَّرَعُ سَعْرَةَ إِنْ كَانُوا هُمُ الْغَالِبِينَ Maybe that we follow the sorcerers. If they are triumphant and they are victors. فَلَمَّا جَاءَ سَعْرَةُ When the magicians came, قَالُوا لِفِرْعَونَ They said to Fir'aun, أَيْنَ لَنَا لَأَجْرًا إِنْ كُنَّا نَحْنُ الْغَالِبِينَ Shall we get some regard, reward, some wages? If we are triumphant and we are successful over him. قَالَ نَعَمْ وَإِنَّكُمْ إِذَلَّ مِنَ الْمُقَرَّبِينَ He said, yes, then you will be among the nearest persons to me in this state. مُقَرَّبِينَ قَالَ لَهُمْ مُوسَىٰ أَلْقُوا مَا أَنْتُمْ الْقُونَ Now, Musa said to those magicians, now, throw whatever you have to throw. فَعَلْقَوْا هِبَالَهُ وَعِسِيَّهُمْ They threw in the field their ropes and their staffs. وَقَالُوا بَعِزَّةِ فِرْعَونَ And they said, proclaim, by the honor of Fir'aun, إِنَّا نَلَحْنُ الْغَالِبُونَ We shall be the victors. فَعَلْقَى مُوسَى عَسَاهُ And now, Musa alayhi salam, he put down his staff, فَإِذَا هِيَ تَلْقَفُ بَعْيَوْا يَا فِكُونَ And suddenly it swallowed all that which they had concocted. فَأُلْقِيَتْ سَحْرَةُ سَاجِدِينَ Now, the magicians, the sorcerers, were as if made to prostrate. قَالُوا آمَنَّا بِرَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ They said, they proclaimed, We come to believe in the Lord of the all worlds. رَبِّ مُوسَى وَحَارُونَ The Lord of Musa and Harun. قَالَ آمَنْتُمْ لَهُ قَبْلَا اَنْ عَذَرَ لَكُمْ Now, Firan said, You came to believe in Him before I give, I permit you. I allow you to do so. إِنَّهُ لَكَبِيرُكُمُ النَّزِي أَلَّمَكُمْ السِّحْرِ He seems to be your chief who has taught you this magic and sorcery. فَلَسَوْفَ تَعَلَمُونَ So very soon they will come to know. لَوْ قَتْجَعْنَ عَيْدِيَكُمْ وَعَرْجُلَكُمْ مِنْ خِلَافٍ I will definitely chop off your hands and your feet from the opposite side. وَلَوْ سَلِّبَنَّكُمْ أَجْمَعِينَ And then I will crucify all of you all together. They said, no harm. We are turning to our Lord. Now you do whatever you want. We long only that our Lord may forgive us our sins. Ankunna awwal al mu'mineen. Because we are the first to, be, to become believers. Nobody else has believed and accepted Musa. But we are the first. We are, you know, we say that he is true. He is the messenger of Allah. And then we sent revelation to Musa, Musa was salam, that you take my bondsmen, my servants, Bani Israel, during the night. Surely you will be followed. فَأَرْسَلَ فِرْعَوْنُ فِي الْمَدَائِنِ حَاشِرِينَ When the Bani Israel departed from there, now Fir'aun sent heralds and callers into the cities proclaiming, إِنَّ هَاُولَاءِ لَشِرْ زِمَتٌ قَلِيلُونَ Surely these are a very small band. وَإِنَّهُمْ لَنَا لَغَائِزُونَ And surely they are enraging us. Whatever they are doing, we are angry. وَإِنَّا لَجَمِيعُونَ حَاذِرُونَ And surely we are the host, fearful or awful. It goes both ways. We fear them or they are fearing us. فَأَخْرَجْنَاهُمْ مِنْ جَنَّاتِ مُعْيُونَ 
So we brought them out from their gardens and springs, wa kunuzin and their treasures, wa makamin kareem and their noble places of dwelling, kazalik. Thus, this, thus it was, wa aurasnaha bani Israel, and we gave all these things to bani Israel, inherited. May we made bani Israel inherit all these pleasant things of life. For atbaahum mushrikin. Now the hosts and the armies of Pharaoh they followed Bani Israel on the sunrise. Falamatral Jamaan, when the both the groups, both armies, now the Bani Israel going, and behind now Pharaoh has reached with his army, and both groups both see each other. Falamatral Jamaan, when the two hosts saw each other, each other, Kala Sab Musa in Nara Mudrakun. So the people with Musa Musa Ali Salam, Bani Israel, they said, "We have been overtaken." Oh Musa, we have been overtaken. Now there's no way. Now they will kill us all. In Torah there is that they became, you know, very angry with Musa, and you know they fought him against him. What have you done to us? Now here we are going to perish here. We were better there. At least we were living, but now we will be killed. In Torah, this this picture is given, not in Quran, which is not becoming of the messengers. Falamma taral jamaan kala sab Musa inna la mudrakun. When the two hosts saw each other, the companions of Musa said, "Surely, we have been overtaken." Kala kalla. He said, "Nay, nothing doing. Inna ma'i Arabi sayadin. With me is my Lord." He will definitely give me way. For our Inaila Musa, and we sent the revelation to Musa. And the day of the Hajj Mahar, you strike the sea with your staff. Fan falaka, then the sea parted. Fakana kulo firkin ka tawdil azim, and each part became like a mighty rock. فَكَانَ كُلُّ فِرْقٍ تَوْدِيلٌ كَتَوْدِيلٌ عَظِيمٌ وَالْلَفْنَ سَمَّ الْآخَرِينَ We brought near the others also now. When the army of Pharaoh is seeing that Musa and Bani Israel are crossing the sea because it has parted, and on both sides of this way there are the two rocks of water not moving. They have become maybe frozen by the by the command of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Maybe they might have become you know snow. And that was frozen. We can't say what happened. It's a miracle, and miracle is actually when the natural laws are broken by the will of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, by the command of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. But now they came. Was there not Musa and Mahu Ajmain? We delivered Musa and whosoever with, were with him, all them all together. Summa agrat na la khareed. Then we drowned the others. We drowned Pharaoh and his hosts. In the visa lekalaya, in this is a sign. If you want to know the truth, there are signs of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala in these things. There are signs all around you in the universe, in the heavens, on the earth, everywhere, in the alternation of night and day, everywhere. You have the signs of Allah Subhanahu. If you want to believe, but if you don't want to believe, nothing can compel you to believe. In the same way, these are the signs, historical proofs, historical signs. These are the history. This is history. The past, as taskeer be ayyam illah, the days of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Wa ma kaan aksarum mu'minin. But most of them are not believers. Wa inna Rabbi kalahu al-Rahim al-Rahim. And definitely, your Lord is al-Aziz. He is all-powerful. He can do whatever he likes. But at the same time, he is ar-Rahim, he is merciful. He doesn't want to show that evident and visible miracle, so that their term comes to an end at once immediately. He wants to give them time. Barak Allahu li wa lakum fil Quran al-Azim wa nafani wa yaqum bil ayat wa zikr al-Hakim. Allahu Akbar. The Islamic Organization of North America, IONA, 
is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. The obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. One, a Muslim is required to develop real faith and conviction, Iman, in one's heart. Two, a Muslim is required to live a life of complete submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Three, a Muslim is required to propagate and disseminate the message of Islam to humanity as a whole. Four, a Muslim is required to try his utmost in establishing the just Islamic order. The first and foremost objective of establishing Iona is to assist the Muslims in North America to uphold and implement these obligations first on themselves, their families, inform their friends, and then to invite the non-Muslims to Islam. The ultimate goal is to seek Allah's pleasure and salvation in the hereafter. For more information about Iona, please visit us at www.tanzim.us. You may also email us at info at t-a-n-z-e-e-m dot u-s or call our toll-free number 866-779-IONA. Join us. Together we can make a difference.